let us study how to uninstall a lower version of MySQL and uninstall a lower version of Python MySQL connector. First, you need to go to control panel. For that, here you can type control panel here. Let me type control panel. So you can see that option control panel. Click here. Now you need to choose uninstall a program. So you need to click on this hyperlink uninstall a program. Now from this list you can select the program that you want to uninstall. So first I am going to uninstall the connector. So before you uninstall before you uninstall MySQL, it's better that first you uninstall MySQL installer followed by uninstall MySQL connector with for Python. After that, you can in uninstall MySQL server 5.5. So first I am going to uninstall this one. After that, I will uninstall this one followed by this one. Let me start with this. So select the file click on uninstall so here you can select uninstall now click on yes here also click on yes so mysql launcher uninstalled now i am going to select i am going to uninstall python mysql connector okay so you need to select this one click on uninstall button here same as before no change now you can click on yes click on yes so python mysql connector uninstalled finally i am going to uninstall mysql server 5.5 from this computer so usually in your computer if a lower version is there you can install that and after that you can install the correct version anyway in my computer the correct version is already installed just to teach you how to uninstall the program i am uninstalling this okay so select the program click on uninstall button here same as before again click on yes click on yes uh, the default option let the default option remain click on ok now you can close the window so the mysql software is uninstalled from your computer python mysql connector is also uninstalled before you install the correct version of these softwares first shut down the computer start the computer again and only after that you install the correct version of these softwares don't use the restart option shut down and after that start